Hello all, I thought I'd do a little review on the Samson Toco Lite. Um, I've just had the uh, the Samson Jet, which is an awesome phone. If you buy it, pay as you go, it costs you at least £200. Um, but I've been intrigued by this Samson uh, Toco Lite, um, which is almost identical, well it's, it's the identical phone, but it lacks features um, like Wi-Fi, um, if you don't use Wi-Fi, which I didn't anyway, it makes no difference. It lacks the camera on this one's 3.2 megapixel, whereas the Samsung Jet is like 5 megapixel. But you know, 3.2 megapixel is quite adequate. Um, it hasn't got a flash. The Samsung Jet has has got a flash. So there are a few bits and pieces about it um, that I've got. A few less features but all in all it's pretty much the identical phone but this phone will just cost you around the 80 85 pound mark so it's really really good value for money and to be honest with you I'm sticking with it <laughs> for that price um, this is the basically the box that comes in there you go I think near there um, just a few basics here's the charger uh, let's get these few bits and pieces out of the box and show the actual phone. Uh, before I show you the phone, um, I haven't actually used the headphones because so I use this sort of loud speaker on it for songs and such like. But some, uh, you know, your basic set of headphones here. There you go. Quite a solid, solid connection. Uh, here's the phone coming up, right here, there you go, basically on the right side you've got, here you've got volume control up and down, um, here's where you would actually plug in your headphones, or the charger, basically, so there's your, oh, let's have a look, it's getting a bit awkward, I should have set this up a bit better. Um, there's your headphones, you see. They would f basically just plug in in there, as so. And your charger does the same thing. So it's quite straightforward. Let's put that back, that's alright. Um, so, let's have a look. So, if we press... Basically that centre button, as you can see, it's, ju it's just basically the back browser all the time. Um, I've got it locked at the moment. There's a little button on the side that sort of unlocks it. So you press that for a few seconds and it will unlock it. Um, if I wanted to lock it, it's just got a one touch lock. I find it quite handy actually. Uh, you just sort of basically just go like that and it's locked. So it's not going to go off in your pocket. Um, if I want to unlock it, like I say, just press it for a few couple of seconds. So it's unlocked. Uh, like I said, if you've seen my review on the Samsung Jet, it's pretty similar. Down the side, you've got the, the little widget bar. Um, so you've got Facebook, you've got all sorts of Google. You scroll through. So like I say, it's, the screen just seems exactly the same um, as responsive as the Samsung Jet. It's been very good. There you go. Just scroll through some various desktops. Um, what can I show you? Keypad. Still got the strong, vibrant buttons of the of the keypad. There you go. Very responsive. Simplistic. Very easy to see if your eyesight's not too good like mine. And back browse again. Um, phone book. Blah blah blah. I've only got two. Um, which I will angle it off so you can't see who they are because that's my wife and my son. <laughs> um, back browse. Main menu. You can see it's got a fair few features. Um, the music, phone book, call cool logs, internet browser, camera, and it's got the video as well. It's like I said, it's similar to Samsung Jet, so click on the camera, turn it around, blah blah blah. Not enough memory because I've used my memory up. One thing what I haven't got 
is a, an extra memory card at the moment. Um, with my Samsung Jet, what I've got was a 16 gigabyte uh, memory card. Uh, a Sandis uh, memory card which was amazing. I had about 40 albums and it only used up 2 gigabytes. Uh, you can pick up a 8 gig, off the net if you search around you can pick up like an 8 gig Sandisk um, memory stick, memory card for as little as £10. And that's more than enough for most people. Um, so it's really really cheap. And this is the video. Uh, there you go. Oh, let's get back to the menu. See what else we got. Camera, communications. See, yeah, the alarm's quite nice. Um, create alarm. And call it whatever you like. Um, set your time. Let's call it something. There you go. You can call it whatever you like and go back. Um, Alarm time, you can set the alarm time. It's just got a scroller up and down. Look, that's quite straightforward, isn't it? Simplistic. Let's come out of that. Back to the menu. Settings, various phone settings, display and light, time and date. Um, all sorts of settings there, application settings. So it's pretty, and there's another, another menu there with uh, various applications. As you can see, MySpace, uh, Facebook, Photo Bucket, YouTube, blah blah blah, Google. Um, yeah, there you go. So it's it's like me doing a review of the Samsung Jet, to be honest. It's not a lot of difference, but like I said, it's for lacking a few, just a few little basics. But you're getting a over a hundred pounds cheaper phone. Um, I'm very happy with this phone, and like I said, I've got no intent in upgrading to anything else. It just does the job uh, fine. Um, and that's about it, just a quick review really. Um, hope it's been of any some use anyway. If, if you need any, uh, if you've got any problems or want to ask any more questions, uh, you can pop over um, to a new forum that I've just made up, which is www.mobilephonesforum.net. I'll, I'll leave a link on the video as well. If, um, but just pop over if you've got any problems or would like to find, find out a little bit more about it, I, I can just whip through it and. and, and Tell you ASP, ASP. So I uh, hope that's been of some use to you out there. Catch you all later.